Maine is is shaping up to be a really, really beautiful place that um, although the winters are supposed to be much more harsh than they were this year, I'm really happy that we got lucky and our first winter staying here through the whole winter has been very mild. Today, I uh, want to talk about overwintering and how I do it. This is an awesome chocolate mint that I've had growing in this pot for about three years now. Every year I overwinter it. I don't know if you can see the little babies coming up. Comes back from the roots. Sometimes it even lives um, through the stems, but most of the time it just comes right back from the roots. Here is, um, I think this is peppermint, or it's the spearmint. I'm not sure which one this one is. Same thing. Um, it comes back every year from the roots. And that's doing well. Then I have parsley's and an oregano that we potted up at the end of the fall and brought those inside and they're doing great. And okay, this is the this is the peppermint. And again, doing great. I'm getting ready to harvest all of the dried old parts of the plant, the top parts where there isn't new growth. There could be, but I'm going to go ahead and take them off and um, instead of it putting so much energy into growing off of what's already existing stems, I'm going to take it and put it in the nest boxes in the chicken coop. So that's my plan right now is to tame these, trim them up, and um, yeah, basically we maybe water them once or twice in the winter, but we just let them be dormant. Um, all winter they've had the green, so it's been kind of nice to walk in and, and smell it. Um, yeah, I mean, it, even in the garage, you know, I, I would bring them out on warm days all through the winter because we had into the 50s still in the winter, and, and so I would bring them out and set them out, and, um, and then take them back in before it would freeze. And that's, you know, it's, it's depends on how many things you want to try and overwinter. Um, we just got the blueberries and raspberries to, to plant. And we have another, or two, two more blueberry bushes to do. So as soon as Gary gets back from the Cape, we will, we'll be doing a lot of planting. Here they are, all trimmed up. Now the girls' nest boxes and the coop smell like them. Collecting sap from a few of our maple trees on our property. Not much yet. First day. But we've got some boiling on the wood stove. Well, steaming anyway. Steaming away on the wood stove. How much do you think you got out of these two trees so far? Like a pint in each almost. Yeah, it's a pint in each. And there's at least a half gallon on the other tree. And probably a pint on that in that little jug. Not even. And oh, there's some in that tree too. In the lawn. Come on, Callie. Oh, it's treacherous over here. Yeah. <laughs> There's a spot I stepped in over there that I sunk in a couple of Oh boy. There must be a place where there's a hole and just drifted over there. Oh, still sinking, but a lot of the snow has melted today. We've got temperatures up in the mid 50s. It's been really nice and warm. I'm in a t shirt right now. Let me see before you pour it in. So that's, that's another pint, I would say. Cool. 
So we tapped five trees here on our property. Let me go dump this in the pot. Okay. And then uh, we'll go get the other two. All right. Got a lot of sap to boil. Stay tuned. Sap is turning into syrup. Almost done. There it is. We got a half pint of beautiful golden amber maple syrup from that's just from today. And how much did we collect? About a gallon and a half. I would say so. Gallon and a half to make that half pint of maple syrup. And yesterday it was about the same gallon and a half, I guess. And it made this. I let it go too long on the stove, and so it turned into more of a a sugar maple sugar. So it's been in the fridge, and it is so good. I can't even tell you. <laughs> it's so good. Not just because we did it ourselves, but it really, really is. Uh, it even seems sweeter than regular maple syrup. But all right. So hopefully tomorrow I'll get some more. I'm really excited. All right. See you later on the homestead.